Blessings, 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 blessings. Blessings. I'll read a quote from Sri Ramana Mar Rashi. Your own self realization is the greatest service you can render the world. It states your own self realization is the greatest service you can render the world. What is self-realization? self realize is realizing who you are. So the question is, who am I? Who are you? The first thing comes to mind is your birth name. I am this, I am that. But in this self-realization, who you are is before name. Who you are is that which never change. We live in a world and a society where personality counts. What we do counts. Who we are counts in a sense the qualification one's carries the job one have you know the type of car one drive the type of house one acquire but is it that who you are in a society where we go by names, titles, you know, with our job title, you know, we are a doctor, we are a nurse, we are a teacher, we are a psychiatrist, we are a mystic, whatever name it is. But every time we read a book, we watch a television program, we meet someone new. Who we are changes because somehow who we are yesterday doesn't fit what we are seeing today, what we are hearing today, and the mood that we are in 
at this present moment is that really who you are is who you are constantly changing we are living in a world where we use social media platform and we change our profile so often because today it feels like you are a videographer tomorrow it feels like you are something else So as the quote states, your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render the world. How can we be that self? How can we come to that self-realization? Self-realization is not being realized, is not becoming something or being something. Self-realization is actually who you are. Before name, before title, before description. Self-realization is who you are. Do I lose self-realization? Can I not be self-realized anymore? Self-realization goes nowhere. Can we lose who we are? We only adopt something else. We adopt a new name. We adopt new identity. We adopt new profile. We adopt new biography. So in adopting all these different names and profiles and biography and image, the mind starts to adopt the idea of who you are. So I'm not here to teach you how to be self-realized. I'm not here to teach anything, but just to remind you of who you are. Just a memory, a 
of something in the past. Change the idea of who you are. Thinking about the future. Seeing someone that you haven't seen for a very long time. And because of the identity or the profile that that person carries, the mind start to play a trick on you. Telling you that you need to do something about who you are. You need to create a profile. You need to create an identity. Don't you see that you're not living? Don't you see that you are just a failure? All is coming from the mind. If you Just be quiet, just be silent, which doesn't mean that you won't talk at all. But just be silent, just listen to your inside. then you will realize that all these things that are surfacing is coming from the ego mind. If you are just aware of all many times your identity of the mind changes then you will understand that you are already your own self. Remembering that you are just self will rem remind you that you are not losing out on anything you are not short of anything And to be self-realized doesn't mean that you have to go in the mountains. Doesn't mean that you have to walk away from family and friends. doesn't mean that you have to become an introvert
but just a reminder that that's just who you are. That identity, that image that make you so anxious, make you become panic. Make you become less aware. That idea of proving to the world who you are, what you can do. Who you are doesn't mean that you have to prove something. Because who you are is already evident. It become evident that others being in your present, they can sense who you are. They can sense the peace that is coming from you. They can sense humility. That simple means you don't have to prove how humble you are. You don't have to prove that you are a peaceful person. But just someone being in your present, who you are will marinate the space the sense of who you are will just flow so proving who you are will have you constantly fighting, constantly battling and because you are programmed by the mind then this seems to be truth. And the original sense of who you are seems to be a lie. You can still carry out your duty. You can still do your daily chores. You can still work for someone and function in the capacity of self-realization. You can still go to the market. You can still play part in society. But just understanding who you are, 
you will understand and realize that it doesn't affect what you do on a daily basis. It does affect being a doctor. It does affect being a teacher. But who you are will allow you not to take the things that come with identification personal. It will help you to deal with criticism better. Whatever environment you are a part of, whatever group you are a part of, whatever is your daily activity, because you are not identified by these titles, you will not take them personal. So as the quote states, your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render to the world. I'm not here to teach you who you are. But just a reminder of who you are. Do I have to leave my job? No. Do I have to go in the mountain to find more peace? No. Because peace is inside. Sometimes there is more noise in the head than in the marketplace. The identities, the profile, the images that you are battling with become so noisy. who you are doesn't feel like a good status it doesn't feel like a good profile it doesn't work with a particular image but it's just to accept who you are. He 
It's the thoughts that are playing in my head. Are they going to make me become crazy? Am I getting mad? How do I understand the root of the, the noise in my head? The root of the problem is to understand who you are, your true nature. One that doesn't change, one that goes nowhere. Just does the name or the word water change anything about water? No. So you don't have to worry about a name, a particular name freeze something that people will see me as don't have to worry about that or just be still be still is God know that source provides all things but the noise is Feeling not to lean on your own understanding. Feeling to surrender to who you are. You don't have to put up a guard where all these things are concerned. Just surrender. Just surrender, just be quiet. being quiet who you are will permeate who you are will flow will speak for itself.
just surrender. Just drop the understanding that you have. Just drop the identity that you are holding on to. Remain as that. Stay right there. 